it's me, Goku! I hope everyone watching is having a great day so far! Today, I'm playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot! This is part one! This game was the most voted on the poll for my 1000 sub special quite a while back. <laughs> I don't think this game needs any further introduction, so let's just get straight into it! Alright, select the difficulty. What do we want to do here? Hmm... A difficulty level for players who struggle with action games? Pfft, I don't struggle! the standard difficulty setting, or a difficulty level for players who excel at action games. Hell yeah, let's do it. Oh, it's Gohan. Hi, Gohan. Oh, Gohan's so cute when he's young. I remember him being that small. Dad? Yeah, hi, son. Dad? I'm meditating. Oh, oh what, what's happening? Well, look who it is! If it isn't Piccolo himself! Piccolo, you came. Mm hmm. I like to do a little image training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty. Yeah. Time to see what I can do. And you're just the guy to help me do that! Let's do it, Piccolo! Yeah! Let's go! Ready for me, Piccolo? Okay, Piccolo, come at me and don't hold back! Yeah! Take that! Yeah! 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 yeah. Kamehameha! Alright. Yeah! You ain't getting me, Piccolo. Oh, God! Nope. Not bad, Piccolo. Not bad. I'm impressed. I'm guessing that I haven't been training hard enough. Yeah. Oh man, he's going crazy over there! Aha! He's getting weak! Time to attack! Rock, paper, you're as strong as ever, Piccolo! Do you think this is some sort of game? What? No way! I know it's not a game. I'm just really pumped to fight you! Yeah. Let's power up! Yep, yep! Oh, I got me! My damn it! I'll get you for that, Piccolo! Come on! Hip, 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 hip. Gotcha. Damn it. Take that, Piccolo. Level up. Oh, man. Say it with me, Goku. Kamehame. Ah, <sighs> my brother. Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta and Nappa, my friends. Oh boy. We got a lot to look forward to. Stop the Saiyan invasion. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the space pod Raditz. His continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and civilizations to boldly go where no monkey has gone before. Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I just remembered something. What was it? I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. I am, yeah. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. Well, you thought wrong, Vegeta. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. Mm. Don't know about that. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. Hey! What planet was he sent to? Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Well, you know, I, look, I got other priorities, Raditz. Don't worry about it. Attack of the Saiyans. Oh. Dad? Dad? Hi, Gohan. Dad, we better head home or Mom's going to be really mad at us. Okay, Gohan. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. I was, yeah. Super strong? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. My rival. Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. Oh, don't be too afraid, Gohan. You got this. <laughs> you know, 
I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. Mm-hmm. I don't think Mom would like that very much. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Ah, that's right. I totally forgot that Chi-Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. Oh, no. How could I not remember that? Yeah, how could you forget that, Goku? Come on, man. Well, time to gather some ingredients, I guess. Ah, uh, think. What all did she need again? Well, hmm, I don't remember. It was a while ago. I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, right! Gohan sure is full of energy. <laughs> he sure is. Don't get too excited and trip over your own feet. Yeah, don't don't trip over, Gohan. Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Yeah, where is he? Safe to say he couldn't have gone that far. Oh, there he is. Hi, Gohan. Let's try to find one more. What do you say? <laughs> Leave it to me. What a wonderful day. Oh, there's some dinosaurs up there. Hmm. Dad, over here, over here. Oh, good job, Whoa, Gohan. Gohan. You're a regular bloodhound. Yeah. All right, this ought to be enough. All right, we got this covered. Now to get some fish. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of tired now, though. Oh, I'm sorry, Gohan. We should head home soon. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Yeah. Okay. Don't leave me, Dad! Oh, no, you're fine. You got this, Gohan. Whoa. Help for a morning stroll with my son, Gohan. <sighs> these are the good days. I miss these. Huh? You okay? What's wrong, Gohan? What's up? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. Aw. Do you want me to carry you, Gohan? Alley-oop. alley <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I see how it is, Gohan. You didn't really need picking up, did you? You're just lazy. So, <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, I want to become a great scholar. Oh, boy. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get to it. But what are we going to fish with? We don't have any rods. Pfft, don't worry about that. I got a tail that I can plug in my butthole. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? My, my tail? I can use that to fish? Of course, Gohan. How do you think I catch fish? I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. Obviously. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. All right, let's do some fishing. <laughs> Plug that in my butt and get on with it. <laughs> come on, fishies. Come bite my tail. You know you want to. Come on. Over here. Come on. Come bite my tail. There you go. Yeah! Whack! Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. <laughs> Time to grill up some fish. Oh man, I can't wait to eat this. This is gonna be great. Oh man, that looks so good. Some good eating right there, Gohan. Is there anything better than some fresh fish in your belly? Absolutely not. Ugh, I think I ate too much though. Aw. I had fun today, Dad. Me too, Gohan. Oh, here we go. This is that community board thing. I never really did like this much. I'll probably just work on this in my spare time. I meant to tell you. Oh? I found this while you were fishing. Sacred text of martial arts? Whoa, that could come in handy. Though I don't really read stuff very often, so... <laughs> Might just give it to Master Roshi or something. So? Should we head home now? Let's go, Han. Go home. Come here, Gohan. <laughs> Here goes! Flying Nimbus! Nimbus! Oh! Whoa, it's a dinosaur! Yeah! <laughs> He's a nice shade of red, too. Bet he tastes great! Bye-bye! Flying Nimbus is super fast! I know! I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid! Mm-hmm. Oh man, it's fun just to go exploring and stuff. Something tells me we're gonna be a little late. <laughs> sure old mom isn't too mad. The, you're making me nervous, Gohan. Okay, let's go home, Gohan. You're you're making me way too nervous right now. Hi, Chi Chi. She doesn't look too happy. Hi, Mom. You're late, Goku. It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients. Sorry, hon. It just, you know, you get distracted and stuff, you know? You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Oh no, I forgot about that. <sighs> Sorry about that. 
I promise I'll remember next time. Yeah. Forget it. Mm. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need to get cooking right away! Yeah, let's get some food. I'm still hungry. All right, Chi-Chi, let's make some food. Now then, I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. That's great! Ooh, what's this over here? To put his new students to the test, Master Roshi throws a stone on which he wrote the character for Turtle deep into the woods. He states that whoever finds the stone and brings it back first will get to eat dinner, while the other will go hungry. Goku finds the stone, but Krillin tricks him and steals it away. He then rushes back to receive his meal, but an unexpected trap is waiting for him. <laughs> I remember that. This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. That was great times. All right, Gohan. What's up? Where are you off to now, Dad? I'm gonna go see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, hon. What's up? We eating or what? Here are your lunches. Dig in whenever you're hungry. Oh, thanks, Chi-Chi. You're the best. Later, Chi-Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Yeah. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? Hmm? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, forgot about that. Here you go, Gohan. Wow, what a neat little ball. That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. That's right. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. He does. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. No problem, Gohan. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. No, of course not. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. You heard her. I will, Mom. Bye. I want you both home by supper. You got it? Bye, Chi-Chi. It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. The Dragon Balls. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, mm -hmm. whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. Yeah. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. Hi, Shamron! And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, mm -hmm. with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. <laughs> All right, Gohan, let's go. Hey, Dad? Mm-hmm? What's Master Roshi like? Oh. Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Yeah. Really? Oh, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. <laughs> Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. Absolutely. a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me. And we ended up going on adventures together. I see. I see as well. They're called eyes, Gohan. <laughs> Goku! Goku! Hi, Bulma. Hi, Krillin. Oh, and who's this little guy? Oh, this is my son. What? Your, your son? I know, I had sex. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yup, yup. Yeah, suits him, don't you think? Uh-huh. All right, let's talk to everyone. How, how's it going, Master Roshi? <laughs> I still can't wrap my head around the fact that you've got a kid, Goku. <laughs> <laughs> He's a spin image of his old man. So this is a Kame house. There's all sorts of people here. I'm a little nervous. She's just done a great job raising such a well-behaved kid. Oh, my God. Whoa, look at this. I'll take that. Oh, uh, man, I turned into Sonic the Hedgehog for a second there. <laughs> Goku and Bulma help a lost turtle to return to the sea. To show his gratitude, Turtle introduces the two to the turtle hermit, Master Roshi. Master Roshi rewards Goku with a flying Nimbus and Bulma with a Dragon Ball that he wears around his neck. Goku, have you been training lately? Oh my neck! Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she really does, honestly. Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. Huh, you've been slacking also? Damn. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. 
Hmm. Hey, you two. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Uh, 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 nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <laughs> well, don't get too mad, Master Roshi. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. Right. I can't argue with you there. Mm-hmm. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Oh? Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Okay. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. What's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Yes. Huh? Oh, uh, oh, uh. Something's up. Are you hiding something? Uh, um. Dang, damn it! He went and hit my book again. Uh, that's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. He's gone. Greetings. Oh, hey, Goku. Have you seen that blasted turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Huh? Tortoise? Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But, but never mind that. What about my book? That pain in the butt hit my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? <clears throat> of course, it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... All right, let's get you your book, Master Roshi. Well, if it really is that important to you, I guess I can help you out. Really? That's mighty kind of you, Goku. Yeah. So, what kind of book is it? It's, uh, um, a swimsuit photograph collection. <sighs> Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look outside. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Now then, where could this pesky book be? Hmm... You mean that gazer's filthy book? Like, I would know. Well, uh, then you know where I can find Tortoise? If you're looking for a tort- uh, turtle, I saw him heading toward the back of the house. Oh, thanks! Hey, Tortoise! So, where did you hide Master Roshi's book? Oh, it's Turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. <laughs> Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control. That's why it belongs in the ground. The ground? He must have hid it around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, this looks freshly dug up. <laughs> here it is. Hey, I found your book, Master Roshi. <laughs> oh, you found it. You're the best, Goku. I knew I was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides this again. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, sure. Looks like that did the trick. All right, let's talk to Krillin. Hi, best buddy. Uh, hey, Goku. I know Master Roshi was talking about it before, but you know, training's pretty important, huh? Can't let all that strength I've gained just go to waste. So I'm planning on getting back into a serious routine. So what you're saying is, you want to fight me, huh? You? <laughs> Maybe some other time. I'm going to focus on some mental simulation training first. Mental simulation training? Oh, you mean where you do it in your head? You should try it sometime when you get a chance. Huh? What's this? I guess you could call it a training keepsake. The great thing about mental stimulation training is you could do it anywhere you want. All right, I'm going to give it a try. Also, my Krillin voice is really off. <laughs> I can't do Krillin's voice very well, I'll be honest. Yeah! Come on, Krillin, let's do it! Come here! Yeah, yeah, yeah! All right, Kamehameha! Yep, yeah! Oh, man, Kamehameha! How's that? That should be enough training for now. Maybe I'll talk with the guys a bit longer. Huh, what's this? Oh, no. Is that my brother Raditz? Hey, Dad, what was that? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. Hey, it's the farmer with shotgun. He's the strongest character in all of Dragon Ball. <laughs> well, that's what I keep hearing anyway. Hi, brother. Man, I always liked Raditz's hair. Makes you think of my Super Saiyan 3 form. <laughs> Except he has his eyebrows. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Did not. Uh, who or what are you? 
A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! No! Don't do it, Raditz! <laughs> don't hurt him! Uh. Don't do it! No! You darn it! Raditz! <laughs> Is this the best this planet can muster? Don't make me hate you! Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Hmm. Kakarot. I wonder if it is me. Could be Piccolo. He's pretty strong, too. Huh, speak of the devil. Hi, Piccolo. <gasps> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Alright, let's do a little bit of exploring. Might as well level up a bit here and there, you know what I mean? I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Alright, let's do it. Come on, Piccolo, take him out. Yeah! Yeah! Ha! Got him! So that's all, huh? Yeah! Power up! Oh god! Come on! So that's all, huh? That all you got? All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the battle. Hi, Raditz. Yeah, so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Nope. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? That also means he doesn't have a penis or something. If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk, I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? Man. You're definitely stronger than the others. I remember when power levels were really low back then. <laughs> now they're in the millions and stuff. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. Hmm. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Yeah, don't underestimate Piccolo. He's a Yoshi. He knows what he's doing. Let's see if yeah! Make this fun for me. Come on, Raditz. I'm gonna beat you as Piccolo. Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. And take these! Yeah! Yeah! All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, get away, get away. Oh, oh man. Come on, and get him. Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. Keep your eye on the birdie. I'm getting another large power reading. You are? That's got to be Kakarot. Yeah, that'll be me. I'm the star of the show! Hmm? What's this? Who is this? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. I'm a tall man. You look just like our old man. I do? What? Tell me, Kakarot. What is this? What's this then? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? What have I been doing all this time? That's a good question. Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. Hmm? You're not from this filthy planet. How dare you? This planet's not filthy. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. Oh. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. That's not true! That's impossible! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life. What? We Saiyans search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there. I would never do such a thing! So that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. I'm no planet broker. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets <laughs> like this. How dare you! And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. What? Uh, if 
this guy's telling the truth, and these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. Don't play dumb with me. Hmm? We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. We do? Even chumps like you should know that. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. Yeah, you're some really mean guys. You are most unkind. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I couldn't even if I wanted to, because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Oh no. Uh, including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. That's not a lot. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. Hmm? The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Me? Kakarot. My name's Goku. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Hmm. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? No! Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look. Yeah, and you look pretty dumb. Huh. Fine. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. <laughs> you leave Gohan out of this. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high. Back off. I'll knock you spark out, bruv. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. I can. I'll show you what for, Raditz. Gohan's not going anywhere with you. Yeah, you tell him, me. Yeah. What the hell's with this guy? What's wrong? You scared? You're not my brother. You're nothing to me. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Get out of here. You're no brother of mine. Don't turn your back on your family, your people. What the hell happened to your tail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut off a long time ago. Why would you do that? Do you know what? This Kamehameha! I think it could serve as our next time. The three of us Saiyans should be able to rid this place of its death weight in just one month. Well, I won't let you. I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, bleh. You got me. Uh, uh, Raditz, uh, don't you touch my son. Put him down. Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. No, hon. Give him back. Give him back to me. And don't even think about trying to be a hero. But I am a hero. <laughs> Go on! No. No! Darn it! Why didn't any of you guys do something? Come on. Palma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it. That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball. Well, no, duh. All right. I'm off. It's now or never. Wait, I sense something incoming. What is it? You're as good as dead on your own. Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. If we were to team up, hmm. we just might be able to take him down. That's a crazy idea, but it might just work. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. Oh, that's what this is all about, the huh? He and his cronies are out of the picture. Hmm. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. Yeah. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Precisely. All right, let's do this truce. I'm down. And this is where me and Piccolo became best friends. What's gonna happen next? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot.